This is the final presentation for Paul Leska for SG490. The game is called The Last Yard. You're seeing the splash screen of the game. The game has been designed to run letterbox at 1280 resolution. It doesn't currently scale. This is the same resolution that it would work at on an Xbox 360. With the keyboard you can press enter if you don't have a gamepad. As you notice in the background we're hearing background music and if you go down to options we can change the volume of that music. We can also change the sound effects volume. I'm going to leave it kind of quiet for this video. Help screens are integrated where it explains the game and talks about what you have to do to win the game. Then it goes and it explains the commands that are done on the Xbox 360 game controller and then it will explain the commands and how they're played on a keyboard. So we're going to start the single player game. There are three different prison yards you can play in. The story mode really isn't integrated, but right now we're just seeing the videos for the levels. First level is Leavenworth. Leavenworth Prison is kind of laid out like a ship. And as you see, I'm walking through the game here. And I'm going to try to avoid these yellow spaces, because when they go red, that kills me. And right now I'm searching for a missile. Okay, there's a missile power-up. I'm going to use my jump jets. And when he gets into range, shoot my missile. Very satisfying. So, there's another missile power-up. You can hold up to nine missiles in the game. And the goal is to try to freeze him with your weapons and not let him freeze you, and to try to stay off a red surface. So now he froze me. Hopefully the surface underneath me doesn't go yellow. I'm going to leave the level with the escape key so I can show you some of the other levels. San Quentin, level 2, is a very tall prison with a lot of fenced-in walls. The interesting thing about the San Quentin prison, out in the sands here, is that this pri prison... I almost killed myself. This prison um, has these hidden passageways that extend between the levels and they're kind of hard to get to but once you learn where the hidden little entrances are you can go from one side of the game grid to the other but you still have to be careful about floors that discharge because if you're on a red floor when it discharges you're killed so we are going to look around in this level to see if we can find a missile to shoot at him and I'm not sure where the, where the AI is gone right now. Oh, there's a missile. There he is. Uh, he's got it. We got his attention. Huh. The missile. Ah, oh, he missed. That should keep him frozen for a bit. So the final level. Level 3 is Attica Correctional Facility. Attica is a very large and tall level. It's on this building type structure. And inside the building are these stairwells that you can walk all the way to the top. Every floor has a, um, an area where things can happen and combat can occur. And we're going to go all the way up the stairwell to the very top of the building so you can see the whole building. Once you get up to the top of the building there are these two lookout towers there are fun places to be able to do sniping to try to shoot at targets beneath you. So you can see them down in the game grid, if we can find the bad guy. The other thing that's really fun to do here is to use the jump jets while you're flying. That was me using the jump jets and let it fuel back up. Let's see if we can kill him now. Where's the bad guy? There he is. Now we just gotta hope that the floor tiles start to go red underneath him. Yeah, missed him. And not underneath us. Now the key of the game is that more and more floor tiles start to go yellow and then red. So eventually the game becomes harder and harder to play. I'm going to die here just to show you what happens if you walk into a red floor tile. And there I was killed. So that's the last yard. Those are the three levels in the game. 
And that's it for Paul Eska and SG490. Thanks.